Over the past several weeks, I've taken a lot of time to, a lot of thought to figure out what I should say tonight. I had considered announcing my grand scheme for solving both California's budget crisis and <laughs> creating a kinder, gentler No Child Left Behind. <laughs> but alas, I figured that would take at least five minutes. So a thank you speech it is. 20 years ago, if anyone had told me I'd be honored in this way, I would have thought it highly unlikely. I already had a wife and two children, had been working in construction for 15 years, and had just finished my BA in night school. Teaching at that point seemed like an unlikely dream at the very best. But circumstances did allow this to happen, and many people helped me along that twisting road, that twisting path, I found my way to a career in teaching. But the most important constant figure inspiring me to become a teacher was, and continues to be, my wife, Deborah. Even when we were going together, and we've been married for 32 years, to each other. <laughs> I admired her dedication to being an elementary school teacher. It only took me 15 years more to figure out what to do with my life, but she, she knew what she wanted to do. So I want to thank her for a bottomless supply of understanding, years of encouragement, and the occasional figurative kick in the butt I so needed to pursue my dream. Even when it seemed so unlikely so unlikely that I could ever hope to become a high school chemistry teacher, she never let me give up hope. I want to thank my mother and her side of the family for my sense of humor. Most people who really know me would consider blame to be the uh, active word there, but uh, that's the way it is. My students past and present certainly deserve thanks and probably intense therapy <laughs> for putting up with my bad jokes and worse puns. Most of all, my ch students challenge me. Sometimes they irritate me. But they also make me laugh and occasionally cry. And are 90% of the time just a lot of fun to be around. They keep me young. I fully appreciate the support of all the adults at my district, at Gold High School, and my department. But with my incredibly high tolerance for embarrassment, and oh, say, having the mindset of a 16-year-old, everyone is probably better off with me spending most of my time with the teenagers. <laughs> Considering my checkered first college career and all the years I spent wandering from job to job until I found where I truly belong, I know I have much and many people to be thankful for. So. For the foreseeable future, God willing, you will find me the highly unlikely Teacher of the Year for Galt High School. You'll find me living my dream of 20 years, where I seem to belong, in my classroom, with my kids. I am their teacher. Thank you.